This is Twit. The continuity camera is really popular in Office Hours. Wow. That's interesting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, a lot of people were really. It was like it, it, so the the most impressive because I think across the board in the conversations that we've had, the everyone's favorite. I mean, when we were watching because we were watching a couple hundred of us were watching it together yesterday. <laughs> when Craig did the run, that was the the hit. You know, like everyone was laughing and having a great time with it. But the thing that got everyone to like really just stop and look at what they were doing was the continuity camera with the using the ultra wide. And then redeforming a a yeah. perspective view underneath it into something that looked flat, and there was a lot of people that were just like, "Whoa, <laughs> like that's that's a that's a flex." That, well, like that's like like that, that was that was something. Don't like, get oh, your okay. hopes up because uh, there was a hands-on. I can't remember uh, who did it. Was Apple Insider or Nine to Five? Somebody obviously installed the developer beta immediately. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, showed us what it looks like. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> it was just an interesting, I mean, it's one of those things that, that you know, I, I too us, got excited. I thought, wow, that's really cool. Um, well, again, I think that it's 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 going to take a little while before they release it. So we're probably looking at an early one. Yeah. Number two this is, is a, a lot of us have a lot of, yeah. a lot of them, us have lots of cameras and we probably wouldn't want that angle anyway. Right. But the fact that they were, you know, really Wasn't that cool. That, that's a yeah. he, that's heavy math. Like uh, that's not like a simple yeah. math. Here's problem. Wesley Hilliard's uh, article, hands on at Apple Insider. Um, he uh, he's got his iPhone 13 there. It does use the wide angle. By the way, this is actually a good thing to know. And again, this is the developer release, so this is early days. But this is center stage. He says center stage requires you to use wide angle, which means it is a little bit softer, as you can see. Portrait, studio light, you can stack them. Portrait and studio light looks pretty darn good. I really yeah. like that studio light feature. Um, this is uh, the 14-inch MacBook Pro versus the iPhone 13 Pro Max and studio display. Um, studio display. Guess which one's the studio display? <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! But unfortunately, this is the this is the desktop <laughs> shot. He says desk mode is a bit awkward depending on when you use it. The camera can only see so far down, so it needs plenty of space in front to actually see a desk. In our testing, desk mode focused on our chest at about a three degree angle below the camera, at three feet away. So unless you have a desk on your chest, it's Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I think Here's that what I had on how far. Lunch. <laughs> it was a good demo. See, yeah. It was a good demo. I had the demo. California burrito yeah. with extra I, salsa. So, uh, do you, did Camo get Sherlocked? Doesn't look uh, like it. No, not. Yeah, no, no. I think that I think that it Camo's got some trouble. <laughs> like it's it's gonna be you know like regardless. There, of there'll the, be that a percentage of people who will say I've got all I need. Yeah, with that. And, especially and, folks who haven't even heard of Camo in the right. first place. That now they've got this feature that is built yeah. in and is a little bit more discoverable and doesn't require cables and things like that. So yeah, uh, and at the the group that they're going after right now, uh, now they've got some trouble there. But I if it. If it doesn't work very well in comparison to me being able to have a cable plugged in that does have a very high quality video, then I'm sticking with what I got. Well, yeah. In fact, it might be good for camo because it'll raise the awareness that you can use an iPhone. And they That's may true. say, oh, maybe I need a better solution. And camo. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think that the vast majority of us within office hours are, is using Filmic with um, or Shoot. Shoot is the Yeah, I started one with Shoot. I like Shoot a lot. You told me about Shoot. I started with Shoot. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why I bought camo I, I bought both of them and i ended up using a uh, camo i can't remember why but both yeah. of them are, are let you use the camera without any uh you know in a clean feed and right. uh it, i used it on sunday you know our studio got fried uh we had a power outage overnight on saturday night and uh, so, uh an analog board got fried even though it was on a ups and we couldn't do audio out uh of the studio so uh i had to go home Thank God I had camo set up with my iPhone 12, and all of right. Twit was done on camo with iPhone 12, and it saved the day, to be honest. Zoom, right. by the way, Zoom worked better at home than it does here. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom, Zoom is amazing, Alex, because I had to do it old yeah. school where it was one Zoom call with four people, uh, and right. it worked great. Yeah, it's it's the big tank. Somebody <laughs> pointed out you know, there's less lag. There was less lag uh on that doing it that way then there and i guess that makes sense we're doing here well, we do four right. different or three different zooms yeah you have twice you pay twice for it so that's like for for the bigger shows i do i still use um individual computers for each person like you do in twit for office hours we're using what's called zoom iso which allows us to 
um, basically go into an existing meeting and grab 1080p uh, feeds out of it. And so we pull those feeds directly, um, you know, out of it and pump them into a switcher. And that's where, I mean, I think that Twit will eventually want to go. It's, there's a lot of, uh, uh, there's a lot of development in that area. That when, when, when Zoom bought Liminal, all that stuff came I have to, I have so, to hire you for yeah. a consult because, uh, that you was one. You don't that, have to hire me, Leo. You can just call me. That was one <laughs> real, really big surprise. I'll have some, uh, yeah. John will call you something. That was a big yeah. surprise was that I didn't have any latency uh, there were people didn't talk over each other on Sunday, and it was like, "Wow, I'm, this this should be worse, not better." But it, it actually was better. Mm -hmm. It makes sense because one Zoom call, so that they can synchronize it a little bit better, I guess. But uh, yep. yeah, 